See, in previously we learned that what was the state of the economy when the colonial ruler, that is the British government, left India. Now, in this particular topic, we are going to understand what Indian economy was, so uh, and what plans we introduced to develop the economy. So, what were the various plans which were introduced? How they were implemented? how they created a difference on the agriculture industry sectors as such okay how the people the welfare of the people was ensured to understand this let's start see first thing is the moment we got independence we had to decide on what economic system we are going to adopt okay now what is an economic system an economic system can be a capitalist system a socialist system or a mixed economy what is the difference between all three? To understand this, you need to answer the certain question. Okay. So, to decide the economic system, there are three important questions which need to be decided, answered. Now, what are those? What goods and services should be produced in the country? How should the goods and services should be produced? Should the pro producers use more human labor? or they should use more capital that is machines for producing things how should the goods and services be distributed among people okay depending on what kind of economic system you're adopting the answer to these three questions will differ okay so let's start with the first economy which is the capitalist economy okay before that understand that the demand and the supply of a particular good in an economy is known as market forces of demand and supply. See, these are the forces which determine the price because if the demand is more and the supply is less, the price automatically will get impacted on a higher side. Okay. So, the first one we are going to learn is capitalist economy or laissez-faire economy. Here, the producers of goods and services purely depend on the market forces of demand and supply. So, they will produce the goods which are in demand. So, what people are demanding, they will start producing that. They will not be concerned about what people need. Okay. To understand the capitalist economy, now let's answer these three questions. So, what goods and services would be produced in the country? Under capitalist economy, we will produce those goods and services which are in demand and not which are needed by people. How will the goods and services be produced? See, when you are in a capitalist economy, the chief or the main aim of the producer would be to earn profits. So, if he finds that the labor, use of labor is cheaper, he will prefer using labor. If not, if he thinks that machines are cheaper, he will start using machines. How should the goods and services be distributed among people? See, they would be distributed for a price. So, wherever there is a demand, the goods would reach there and people will have access to that goods after paying the price. Okay. So, remember in a capitalist economy, people who can afford to buy only they will have access to the goods and services. So, basically capitalist economy runs purely on the market forces of demand and supply. The goods which are in demand are produced by the producers or the manufacturers. Okay? They are not concerned with what exactly the people need and they are not concerned with supplying that. They are only concerned with making profits and ensuring the ones which are in demand that is the goods in which are in demand are produced at a maximum scale so that to ensure that the profits are earned now let's understand socialist economy socialist economy is completely opposite of capitalist economy to answer or to understand this we need to answer these questions here in a socialist economy the goods and services that would be produced would be one which would be needed by people okay that is it is required for the people they need it and hence they would be produced okay 
the second thing is how they would be produced see in a socialist economy the uh, government will decide on labor or machine depending on what kind of economy what kind of population they have so if they feel that it is for the benefit of the people to be a labor intensive economy so they will prefer goods being produced by way of labor okay how they are distributed they would be distributed on a equality basis see in capitalist economy only the people who are earning would be able to afford and go ahead and buy the goods in socialist economy it would be like the people who can who need the good would be supplied the good okay so it would not be who can afford it it would be for everyone who is in need of the product or services now the next one is the mixed economy as the name suggests this is a mixture of the capital economy and socialist economy when india got freedom india decided to adopt this kind of economic system for its country for itself okay what was the reason here see understand this we had so many problems which we had discussed earlier such as widespread poverty widespread unemployment right then we had no uh, basic healthcare facilities available there was no industrialization okay so a socialist economy was needed to ensure poverty is being alleviated people are given employment but then at the same time the economy the government itself was not in a position to industrialize the entire economy on its own so it needed private players also so then there was a need of capitalist economy and hence that was the reason we adopted the mixed economy now just to answer the questions which we saw here see in a mixed economy what goods and services would be produced in the country the one which are in demand but then the essential goods which are required compulsorily which are the need of the people they would also be produced in a mixed economy okay how would be the goods produced it would be a mix of labor and capital intensive so while the private players will focus on those methods which will give them maximum profit so if there is cheap labor it would use cheap labor otherwise it would use machinery the government will encourage and open up the industry which would employ labor intensive which would be labor intensive and how should the goods and services be distributed see the goods which are in need that is the people need for their well being they would be distributed equally among all the people while the remaining goods would be demanded or would be purchased by the people as and when they need it 